I'd like to welcome everyone back to the NK Autos channel. Today we'll be doing this VLAND headlight install on this IS250. Getting started, we're going to be taking off the bumper since to install these headlights, we will need to take the old headlights off, which require taking off the bumper. So let's pop the hood and start working on getting the bumper off. Now getting into the engine bay, we are going to be taking off all these clips so that align this front plastic molding piece. And then we will start working on taking the clips off from the side of the wheel wells, along with taking the screws from underneath the bumper, which are held on by some bolts. So let's just work on getting these, getting these clips taken off, and then we'll work on the rest of the car. So to remove these clips, I will be using one of these pry tools. I'm going to pop them all out. After we remove all those clips, we're just gonna take this front piece off, put it to the side. We'll have these two rubber grommets on each side, which will have a Phillips screw there. We will remove these. And once those two grommets are removed, we have this one 10 millimeter bolt in the center. With that removed, we now have this top part of the bumper all loose and we can start working on the sides. Now with that top side removed, we'll just go to the side here and there's gonna be one clip right here and one clip right here. We're gonna take those off, do the same on the other side and then we'll go underneath the car where there's gonna be a few bolts holding on the front bumper. And then on this side, we can just take our pry tool, stick it in here, this lower one. as well. Now with those two bottom clips removed, we do have to pull this fender liner back and we will be exposed to a 10 millimeter bolt right there. With that removed, we can then take the bumper, pry it towards us and it will pop off. With that bolt removed, we can just take this line and just pop it out like so. Okay, now with those top clips removed, the one bolt in the middle, we have those two clips on the side with the bolt on top and the two clips on the side and the bolt on top removing the bumper. Now we can work on the bolts underneath for this front lip. Now before we get any further, we're going to have to remove the negative and the positive side terminals off the battery. So what I like to remember is black, red, red, black. When taking the battery off, we're gonna disconnect the black first, then the red. And when putting it in, we're gonna do it the opposite way. So red and then black. So let me get my 10 millimeter socket. Let's disconnect the battery, just so that when we're working with electrical stuff, we don't have to worry about short circuiting anything, burning any fuses, or most importantly, hurting ourselves. So let me just disconnect the battery, and then we'll work on taking the fog lights out, and we'll work on taking the rest of the lights off the IS. Okay, and with that battery disconnected, we will now work on taking the rest of the lights off. So as you can see inside there, we have the fog lights. We're gonna take those and we're going to disconnect that clip right there. 
and we're going to also disconnect the one light harness on the side. So those two clips disconnected on the right hand side and the left hand side, we're going to fully take the bumper off. So to get to the lights, we're going to remove these, these 10 millimeter bolts. Now with the three bolts removed and the clip on top behind this popped up, we can then work on this harness piece right here on the side, which will just require us from the front here, putting pressure on this, which will allow us to push the clip back. Once the clip is back, it will pry out these harness. And with the harness removed, we can start to take our headlight out like so. And we put the headlight out to the side. And from there, we can work on putting the new headlamp in. With the new headlamp, it is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is plug in the harness to the clip right here. Side this piece forward once it clicks. We're good with that. And then we're going to have this little piece of wire exposed. And we're just going to place the VLANs here, making sure that this wire is tucked underneath here and that we can get to it easily in a little bit. With that first headlamp placed in, we can start to get a feel of how it will look. And then now we will take our bag of goodies, open it up. We're going to untwist this harness that they gave us. And the side that is further away from the, the wire tap, which is going to be here with the fuse, the further side is going to be the one we're going to connect to the passenger side light. So this will be this one at the end. So we're going to take that wire that we had tucked in previously here and connect it. Until it clicks. And we're gonna, for now, just keep it up here. We are going to tuck it underneath this inner vent and hide all the wires and zip tie them. And with that, we can now put our bolts back on. With the right headlight fully installed, we can now work on the, the right one, which will take the same amount of steps. We'll take this top bolt off. Place the one to the side here, off. And then lastly, we'll take the one on the side off. We will now take our right headlight and we will put it in the same way as we put the other one. 
take this harness, make sure it is up here to the side, and then we'll take this wire and make sure that we can put that into the top. There, we can now plug in the harness. Perfect. Now we can work on putting those bolts back. Now, with all those bolts put in, we can now take the clip that we have in the back here, as well as this and hide it. So to make this a little bit easier on ourselves, we will take this panel off, which will take the three clips as well. As you can see the white wire here, I took it underneath here. I lifted this up by un taking these two bolts off, lifted it up, took the wire, zip tied it here, ran it along all the way down into here. And then from here, we have to take this fuse panel off. I already did. And we're gonna take the, add a fuse, and we're gonna take it to that 10 amp fuse on the very top. I did trim a little bit of this empty fuse panel to the right of it that allowed me to see this all the way. I took the wire, hit it underneath here, and then as you can see, I did cut a little bit of the plastic here as well as some of the plastic on this cover just so that the wire doesn't get crimped and allows this to be seated completely. Then I took the rest of the wires here, zip tied them together just so they're out of the way. Then going down, I took this, zip tied it as well so it won't rattle. Have everything here ready for the fog lights. And the same on this side. Now with the bumper on, we can go back to putting all the screws up on top. They will consist of the 10 millimeter and all of the other rubber grommets, like this one on the left and right side. All right, and with the car being all put back together, I just wanna check a couple things. We do have all the wires connected, we have all the panels put on, but when I turned on the lights, the left light over there was a little bit higher up than this one was. To adjust the lights, there was going to be a nut right there, the white one, and that's going to be an eight millimeter right there. And we're going to adjust that clockwise to lower the, the light and counterclockwise to lift it up. So I already went ahead and did that. I parked the car in front of a wall and turned on the lights and I was adjusting this uh, eight millimeter until the light ray was completely equal. And with that, you can just adjust if you were driving and if the lights are too high up. If you wanna see more towards the ground, you can adjust the right and left side respectively to do that. But with that, everything put together, we're just gonna put the covers back on. And if you have a little bit of trouble getting to this side, there's going to be a filler neck for the windshield washer fluid. All it is is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You take that off and then the, it will slide right up. And putting that back in, we'll pull all the covers back on and then I'll show you how the car looks with the turn signals, the daytime running lights, and the high beams along with the nighttime lights. We could just take the front piece Pop it on along with all the clips. Okay, now you can see I have the car turned on and you see that the running lights for the nighttime are on, which is gonna be those first two beams. 
as you can see the first two beams on the other side as well. And then if we turn on the car, we're going to have the white stripe. As you can see, and then for the turning signal lights, and then for lining up the headlights, uh, you can see it's a straight line across. Before, this was a little bit higher than the right-hand side one, and I just went to the left one, lowered it a little bit, and I was perfectly equal.